now I will open the floor for a question and remark. So please. Yes, James. Yeah. Hi, I'm James Thurd from UNU White. I'm obviously a CG model myself, so I'm not into you. But let, let me play devil's advocate. What I see from Chaz's presentation is that he's laid down the gauntlet for the last two presenters there. So Chaz has been saying that actually you can't just pick one climate change scenario. You need to be looking at all 56, and even the 56 may not be good enough. It may not be a true reflection of the distribution. So maybe you could reflect a little bit on um, uh, the motivations. You can mention the World Bank. And uh, why you picked that particular scenario and what, what concerns you have. I worry a little bit. We know amongst the climate change community there's this worry about false precision, right? That you do lots of downscaling but on one scenario and you miss the fact that it's the variation between the scenarios that, that where, the, where, where the true story is. I worry that if we go down, and, and I'm doing it myself, we go down to the sub-national regions, that's false precision from us economists, um, particularly if, if we're not taking in the, the proper climate change, uh, the full range of the climate change scenarios. And my second issue is this. I saw both of you were talking a lot about uh, variation in the impacts, the crop yields had variation, it, 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 it um, <coughs> but you're basing this on two scenarios. So where is that variation coming from? Is it year-on-year -year variation from the climate projections? In which case I worry that that's weather, that's not climate change, right? I mean, a lot of the fluctuation year-on-year -year that you see in the, in the climate change models out in 2050, that's just an assumption that the future variation repeats itself. So what you're looking at when you show your, your box and whisker plots is not climate change variation. That you get from variations across the climate change scenarios. It's weather variations, and that's historical. That's not climate change. Okay, much, I'm Clement Reisinger from IFPRI. Thanks, first of all, for this very good presentation. Um, I'm now referring to the two country case studies using a CGE model as well. And I noticed that both studies focus very much on the local effects on climate change. Like looking at those countries specifically while not looking very much at the rest of the world. Now some of our projections, actually most of the projections from IFPRI and others, show that climate change obviously happens worldwide and it affects other countries as well. So the projections show that global food prices are very likely to go up because you know all countries are affected um, through lower rainfall, higher temperature, lower yield. There's only so much land to expand to. So I was wondering, especially in Middle Eastern countries that are net food importing countries, Turkey maybe not to that extent, are we not missing part of the story if we if we are not also taking the global effects into account, both in macroeconomic terms, but also on the household level. Other questions, please? Yes, I'm Sandra Benoit, advisor for agriculture and rural development here in the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Finland. Thank you for the presentation. I have uh, one question uh, for Charles regarding this uh, uh, stream flow and runoff you were talking about the, the natural runoff and uh, streamline and not about the actual. So do you, do you, or is, do you know if anybody is doing projections on the, the actual stream flow? So, so because uh, based on the uh, population growth and the use of uh, water, increasing use of water by agriculture, so how to get the, the, the effect of both natural and actual Run of streaming, stream flow, food security, and, and really in the, in, the, in the people's life. Thank you. Other questions? Please? I have a question for Chaz. Um, on your. What was driving the range and variation in your um, DCM scenarios? Um, was it 50 different models, or was it 10 models with different assumptions about drivers and mitigation and penetration? Um, or parameters in the GCM model. What, what was driving that at that range? Do they have, all have the same assumptions about growth, mitigation, or, or different assumptions? About? Okay. More questions? Can I be time to the uh, presenter to react to all of them? Can I start with Okay, for James Thomas, thank you very much for Thomas. Yeah, we, we, we really have a big problem about uh, understanding or relying on the climate models. There are 56 of them, yeah, and 
Unfortunately, when you are trying to do some regional study for Turkey, most uh, the, the results are mostly not available. You have to find them, feed them into the model, etc. So my belief is that, or my hope is that, as the, the more data become available for Turkey or for other regions for the globe, uh, we will be able to incorporate all these uh, information into our models. But at at the current stage, first, I don't have the capacity to process all the information available. Second, all the information is not available anyway. So in time, I hope to, I hope to enlarge my database and uh, incorporate all these scenarios. Uh, for this uh, differentiating between weather and climate change, you are right, we should do. And that's why I tried, I uh, reported uh, periods, not each year, right? I showed each year, but what I was focusing on was what happens in three or uh, 20 or 30 year periods. So that's how I tried to overcome that, uh, that thing. And for local effects, and you are absolutely right, climate is changing all over the world and the world prices will significantly, significantly change. But with uh, country CG models, that's all. What you can do is introduce some uh, price shocks, right? World prices should change. At least world prices should change. And for that purpose, Ismail and I and Wally, we are engaged in a study with GTAP that will take into account the effects on whole globe and we think to uh, feed the results of GTAP model in terms of price change into the national uh, CG models in order to take this uh, effects into account. Thank you. Well, uh, I think Hassan hasn't left me much to say about it. <laughs> but uh, I think um, I doubled down what he said like on the criticism about um, um, about the data, the climate data, the yield impacts. Um, in the case of Morocco, basically, initially we started actually with uh, with the Clyron um, yield chucks that Chaz has supplied us, and uh, we wanted to make a run with that. Um, the, the 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 pro the, the problem, at least from our side, what what, what we had with with, with those from we had some issues with. Uh, particular crops, the way they are modeled, we discussed this with Chaz. Um, some key crops, for example, in 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 Morocco, that were not basically modeled the correct the correct way, so to speak, by Clairon. And um, it, additionally, when 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 we got um, the data and we investigated the impacts, um, um, they they were basically um, um, how can I say so against conventional wisdom that says that Morocco would be losing drastically. Um, whether or not um, that's right or wrong, um, uh, we, 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 we decided to go with the World Bank data because we thought that was basically this, the safest route, the, lo the, the less controversial route to go to. Go to. I mean, um, we run based some simulation with that data, but what, what we ended up ha having is just the, the impact was just minimal. What, what, we, what we had basically is just a continuation of what we've seen in Morocco happening like for years now. That is, yes, Morocco, agricultural Morocco is susceptible to, to climate condition. It's highly volatile because uh, there is not a lot of resilience uh, built in in the sector. Um, so uh, that basically what motivated basically our take, our move away from, um, from Clara and, and opt-in with the World Bank data. Uh, several scenarios. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the scenarios, I mean, the World Bank study, as, as, as James mentioned, I mean, they, had, they used, compared to Clarion, they used a limited pool of, of scenarios, of course. They used, like, only two global scenarios. They used only one GCM, which is they had, they had, uh, uh, they had them GCM, um, um, uh, well, which is basically, uh, as you said, you're relying basically on one GCM to, to, to capture, basically, to try to capture um, the climate uncertainty, which is, counterintuitive. At least if you want to capture the answer, you have to have multiple, um, basically, projections in the futures that are captured by different GCMs. So on that point, I mean, I, basically, I, there is no arguing there. Um, I think uh, uh, this, on the data issue, it's, 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 it's the same thing. It's, I mean, like, when, I, when, I, when we started working on this, um, there is, there is as, as Hassan has mentioned, there is, like, there's a lack of, of available that there's only so much you can do. Uh, I mean, you have, you have basically, you want to do the best you can. You want to model everything. You want to make um, as close as possible. But um, your, your data constraint basically just cannot allow you to go um, that far 
and um, we've tried to manage somehow what we have to um, to um, to make it work. Um, uh, I think I think that's that's Thank it. You, sir. John, please. All right. So I I first want to just address real quickly what Ishmael was talking about. Um, there's uh, one distinction. The the model that I was presenting was Iran, but the, which isn't an agricultural model. Like, uh, yeah, so it's, it's easy because they have a fix. <laughs> I, I, I do the Sorry, same thing all the time. Yeah. So the different models, so the, um, and, and I apologize. I, I wish I could have some more time modeling using Flycrop. I think we could have gotten better results, but at the time I, I didn't have a lot of time. I, I um, and I think that was all with, with what you said. So um, the question about, um, Sort of actual versus actual. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, the and I, I, I kind of hesitated to even bring this up. So the the um, the point that I was making was that, that the uh, that we're we're introducing uncertainty even with the historical data. But the Clyron model is is part of, of course, a, a whole suite of models, and it it's supposed to model natural stream flow, and then we have another model that, that models the irrigation, and um, actually Alyssa is an expert in that area, but the irrigation and, and how much they're releasing from the dams, et cetera. So that's, that's a kind of a separate aspect, and I should have been more, more clear about that. Um, and then the question about the, the distribution. So those are each point, so there, there are 22 for the A1B, 17 for A, Two and seventeen for B one, and those are the only points that are representing the distribution. So there's no, um, it's not historical interannual variability. It's um, it's a mean taken over all of those years. So it's really just the the distribution of, of each GCM specifically. And I don't know exactly what's causing that spread. Um, I think it's it's very detailed. It's how the GCMs model climate. Um, and there could be lots of things that, that cause that spread. But they're, they're running the exact same scenarios um, as far as emissions. And, um, theoretically, they're running the same scenario with the spread. Because um, you know, the A1B is, is defined in a certain way, and, and they interpret that in their model. So, um, so it, is, it is surprising that they would, you know, that range is there, I think. But. Thank you, Sean. Other question? I mean, if I may, I have just one question because, you know, in the two presentations of Ismail and Hassan, we talk about this uh, regional disparities in terms of uh, the impact of climate change. Uh, and I wonder if there is something to learn about this regional disparity. Is there any adaptation process that can really learn it at the local level? Or uh, it, does the reflect in somewhat uh, the way the farmers or the actors at the regional level really adapt to climate change, or it's related just to the characteristics in terms of uh, geography and uh, ecology? Well, uh, for Turkey, I just mentioned that, for example, the eastern parts of the country, the households in the eastern part of the country uh, is not that much affected. The main reason for that, I couldn't go into the details, uh, but the main reason for that was that they are already making rain fed agriculture and they are not really dependent on water anyway. So when the, uh, and of course uh, the uh, yield, uh, the, the climate change is not that significant in that region. So what I, can, what I observe from the results from many scenario runs is that if a region, uh, if a region is not, uh, how can I say, if a region is not very dependent on water, or if a region is has a good water infrastructure, because uh, the, the regions with good infrastructure, water infrastructure, are not affected too much from the uh, climate change shocks too. So uh, they are not affected too, too much. But that uh, I mean that doesn't mean that okay for for the for if the farmers can adapt by themselves, I'm afraid the CG model cannot answer this question easily, right? Because, okay, I have households, they are affected. If they are not very uh, dependent on effective incomes from uh, irrigated water, they are not affected too much. Or from water uh, irrigated land, they are not affected too much. That's all I can see from the model. 
But by common sense or by conventional wisdom, I can say that, okay, uh, if a region has a better infrastructure in irrigation or if a region is not much dependent on water, they are not affected as a region, not as a household, they are not affected too much. So in order to answer fully your question, I mean, we need to go deeper in the model, introduce some kind of adaptation strategies for the households. Um, I mean, in terms of in terms of Morocco, it's pretty much I would say it's 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 the same it's the same thing as as um, as Hassan has said. Um, we cannot infer basically how if you if your question is specifically asking about how farmers adapt and, and, and what's what's available for them basically to become more resilient to climate change. Um, you know, relying on the CGE model to answer that kind of question is at least the way we've. Um, We've we've taken it. It's um, uh, clearly that's not that's not. Um, it wouldn't shed too much light on, on that question, but um, you know whether or not farmers are adapting. I think it's historically. I mean, farmers are are not dumb. I mean, they are pretty. Um, how can I say? Um, they notice changes. They react to changes. They adapt to um, to, uh, to to the best uh, of their abilities. But um, of course, there are conditions on the grounds. Um, sometimes primarily driven by policy choices sometimes that distorts sometimes incentives uh, for farmers from um, you know um, adopting more uh, uh, um, effective uh, uh, choices basically uh, for adaptation and um, I think that's uh, basically what um, most of the time it's it's really um, the CG model tries basically to capture more those kind of those broad policies than um, go in and boiling down into uh, from a bottom-up structure and, and, and see build up kind of uh, analyzing this the adaptation strategy of farmers so thank you Hussain. in fact my, my my ideas was about the fact if regional mobility can really play any role of, in the future because of climate change we can really see more regional mobility or displacement of people because some region will be more affected and if it is really uh, physical constraint that means people who, or farmers are um, forced indeed to, to feel if they cannot really adapt. Uh, thank you very much. We should really uh, join me to uh, congratulate this uh, excellent presentation. Our, uh,